the mission with Johnson. He came. Corsair King. Sarawood. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. Good uh, that'd be good. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Dan, to my kind of guy who didn't think that he Yeah. Hey Tom, pick it up. Yep, we're supposed to meet yeah, the early train to San Denis. Okay. Okay. Better get a move on then. Hey, Tom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Danbury. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Okay. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Does that seem important right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I. Boy. Yeah. Damn, it's my chum, eh? Think. Mind is a terrible thing to lose, especially over <laughs> such a nice I... floor as this. It's here. It's here. I know. Get go, get go. Fire. Got it, boys. You done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. I don't know why. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just. I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Truth window, eh? Yeah. Ah, la, ma, de casi ni de plo. Weapons on the ground and hands in the air. Easy now, fellas. Now we won't take it again. Oh, I do you go? Uno, uno. I 
Saya Saya Enggak mau bunuh-bunuh orang Oh tak kena Ada So you met Mr. Danbury? Yeah, don't worry, he was very obliging. Blitz. I thought you wasn't getting involved. I thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank okay. you. Oh. Thank you. Done, boys. You alright, girl? Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. Yeah? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still <sighs> doing that? Of course. Totally. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really... There. Very smart. Come on. Let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. What money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. That's an amazing ah, There she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They'll search us when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone uh, is the author of his own good fortune. Temper. Yes, yes, believe me, Temper. I heard every word. But be I evil. Watch Strauss, listen to wow. the dealer, and this should Il be a docks. very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, Caillou. how wonderful to see you, Arthur. You remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Yo, yo, yo. Champagne Dave is on you. dear old Arthur. <laughs> He's rich as can be and feeling luckier Stros. than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Oh yeah, don't want him to put it. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Come on, Drink come on. on Arthur. Champagne. Cool, cool. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. No way, buds, bro. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is Idiot. simple stuff. Now have a good time. But don't lose too much money, or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now, where can I get a cocktail? Sit. Cocktail, let's go, man. Oh. Are you joining us? Yeah, yeah. Hello, mister. Go. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey. Desmond Blythe. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. 
been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Boy, can you it's already wait. stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Wait. Oof. Boy, call, call. Not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should oh, have. <laughs> you got a lot of money. Only was three, baby. Full, full. The try caller. Call. What the hell? Here we go then. Hello, my lady. Oh, lapan itu boleh lawan. Oh, lordy. Lapan. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Ugh. All out, me. Now what the hell? It's only money. Interesting. A pair of cowgirls. Yeah, I told you. Shit. Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... Well, I heard... Well, I heard there was some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. What? Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good well, fortune. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair kings. Very good, but not good enough. <laughs> Shit. Okay, oh, that's the key. Uh oh, oh you want, you yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but um, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? <laughs> Gentlemen, please cash these out for me. I, I started last week. I got lucky. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow uh, me, nothing. gentlemen. Come with me, sir. All right. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. Of course, take your time. Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. This is our pit boss, or. Aku tak expect pun Aku cari I guess you were right Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun 
Exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up the dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! <laughs> I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, there's your friend. Friend is not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> Come on, Roger. I gotta get out of here. Deep here. Stop. Well, have a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently, it's worth a bunch of Swiss, a, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, Misha, complete. Keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. Oh, He's God. willing to take Repeat us to here. Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear. Be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. <laughs> we made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. 
I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. Yeah, I the reckon point. we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Go, go, yeah. Tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now, yeah, let's go, let's go, 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 go. Don't make us kill you. Give me Mr. your money. Leave these worth fine dying. folks or their valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this one. Well, the hot you do. That's your choice. Look at the one in your law. Now, I'm gonna need everything you got on Clinton's okay. inside. Fine, it's yours. Just the one now, the button. Open the gate and let my acquaintance. There's nothing much here. Yes. What? There's of course. There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you. Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Yo, all of you guys, but check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it. But. Hello, to the one ya. There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Oh, no. GG. We got you surrounded. That's greasy son of a bitch. He set us up. You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something. The trolley. The trolley. Follow me, gentlemen. Go now! Oh, bro, get the gang. Does this trolley go to the head? Yeah, do it. Alright, you're the best. Well, they're gonna do it. Alright. I'm gonna go to the bus. Stop sights. Some riders coming on this side. Arthur. Allah tak nampak dia. Arthur, coming out of the bank on the right. Tak esok tu istilah. Kali klik. Oh, oh, oh. Ada. Dia pecah kali. I think we're clear. 
You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got... $15. <laughs> oh, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <laughs> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So... What are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. Decent the take. bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that. Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. Aí tu ia. Agora vamos para lá. Selap. Banyak dosa itu buat. Masih jengkit dah pak ni. Come on, girl. Yeah. What? So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Josea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit Dude, to me. <laughs> This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job Come that on. we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. Yeah. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur, if it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. We're headed to a settlement called Lagra. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? Thomas, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's going to help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend, Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. I'll top. Be lively. Minded, there's a lot of gators 
Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scoop. In the tree! The tree. Oh, boy. What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. It is, huh? You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Master, it nearly ate me. And where'd he go? It's it's up there. What? A big gator. Biggest <gasps> I ever saw. Big it's... and nasty. No. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. Aduh. Ikom pen kompem ada buaya. And uh, where did this monster swim off to? I think that way. <coughs> Good luck shooting that thing. You'll need a I got the scale. It's over here. Yeah. Stop. Uh -huh. <gasps> To the boy, he's going to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. <laughs> Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? <laughs> Two <laughs> little friends of mine. I'll explain later. I don't know about we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was going to be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Oh, no. I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're going to need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> You'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of cracked gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. I can't wait now, but I must have been putting it on there. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Why do you touch? Why? Hello, boy. Come on. Oh, they bad, don't they? Aduh, Oh, 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 oh,
제설 야 무사해 Tak boleh jadi dari lagi tu. Sosir. Apa lam? Bengong. Aku dah tak ada tenaga ni. Jump, jump, jump. Stop the bleeding. I think you'll be okay if he don't get a fever. Hey, to my we can do a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look at him, we are all lost. Yolo 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 Macam Okay, I think it's had enough Now, Jesus, can we get back now? You're gonna be okay, kid Sorry, Jules Guess all them stories was true Big and bad That's unusual Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you. Get up, Mark, you know, I don't think I've See ever seen you. you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Jules has been bitten. Oh, my God. There's a monster out here. He's been bitten, but he's alive. Let's uh, keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Uh, can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm going to head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. A bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. You got monsters out here. Well, 